Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday morning, the 8th of January. I'm James Spann. Clouds return today. Rain not that far away. Uh, What about severe weather chances for Alabama? Uh, What about this near record warmth? When will cold air come back? A lot to talk about here, so let's get in there and do it. We'll check some of the Skycam shots. These were captured early this morning at the insane hour of 5 a.m. Who would be awake? Well, that one guy is. uh, The guy there on uh, Chalkville Mountain Road. That's coming from the Skycam in Trussville. One guy there. That's uh, Coleman's shot that's overlooking Highway 278 at the water treatment facility, which is just east of downtown Coleman and downtown Birmingham. Well, our big upper low kind of progressing as expected, maybe a tad farther south than the models had uh, uh, expected at this point. It's uh, well to the south of uh, Arizona and New Mexico over old Mexico. And as that thing lifts out, that will bring a lot of rain to Texas and areas west of here in coming days. And ultimately, we'll get some rain from that. And again, as we'll discuss in modeling, you know, when, when, it, when that thing is over Mexico, it is not in the upper air network of the United States, which means eh, the models could change their tune a little bit as we get uh, into this, but uh, confidence is fairly high in the solution now. Not as cold this morning around the state. Uh, Everybody above freezing. In fact, temperatures have been rising uh, overnight as south winds begin to kick in and clouds increase. In fact, Birmingham sitting at 44. And around the nation, it's still very cold in the west out there around the four corners, but Uh, Generally speaking, temperatures are a little above average now, and the big January thaw is going to headline the eastern United States with temperatures maybe up to 25, 30 degrees above average by the end of this week. That means mid-70s for us. Up on the watch warning map, we have a flash flood watch that is in effect for uh, parts of Texas, roughly along the Interstate 45 corridor. That is from uh, Dallas-Fort Worth down to Houston where they just could have some flooding issues. And uh, we'll show you the rain projection here in a moment. First off, the severe weather possibilities. This is for today. A slight risk of Texas, or a slight risk of Texas. How about a big risk of Texas where they might see some severe weather? The slight risk is for the uh, southern part of the state, including the Texas coastal plain. From about uh, San Antonio and Austin over to the uh, coast, almost to Houston. And then tomorrow, the risk uh, shifts to the east over into sections of Louisiana. And on day three, this is Thursday, there's no formal risk. The low-end 5% probabilities are up for uh, Mississippi and to extreme West Alabama. And it's kind of a marginal setup. We'll look at that in detail here in just a second. But I think this is the big story. Look at the rains here from Houston to Memphis. Now, this is over the next five days. So this counts what's going to happen this week. And Uh, This goes through Tuesday morning of next week, and the numbers are pretty high in Alabama now. That's almost up to two inches. And uh, I would say there is growing concern over a long-duration rain event beginning late Sunday, Sunday night, Monday, and Tuesday of next week. We might have some flooding issues if what we're seeing off the GFS verifies. In fact, let's get in there and take a look. This is the 06Z run at 12 noon today at 500 millibars. There's the upper low over Mexico. Down below that, we're dry, but clouds increase today. Uh, We should be up around 60 in most spots. Rain breaks out over Texas along that Interstate 45 corridor. Tomorrow, the upper low approaches the Rio Grande, still over Mexico. Uh, Down below that, there's a surface low uh, just off the Texas Gulf Coast, uh, down below Corpus Christi, with a warm front extending north trying to push up in here. And that suggests we'll be dealing with uh, developing showers and maybe some thunder. Nothing severe. Uh, And we warm up into the 60s. In fact, the uh, NAM has us at 70 tomorrow. But tomorrow could be a wet day and a mild day. All right, Thursday, the upper low is uh, on the Texas-Oklahoma border. Up there around uh, Sherman Denison. And uh, down below that, the surface low is near Tulsa, 1,010 millibars. With the main axis of the heavy rain on Thursday during the middle of the day just west of here uh, along the Interstate 55 uh, range there. And then for Thursday evening at 6 o'clock, the showers and storms ease in here, but they kind of fall apart, as you can see. So let's check some of the severe weather parameters. This is valid at 6 p.m. Thursday, local time here. Uh, The air is 
you know, m marginally unstable, where you see the shades of green uh, through much of Mississippi into extreme West Alabama. The, the big numbers for severe weather, you'd like to see those, you know, darker shades down there in the Gulf. That's where the Lifton Index goes down to, you know, minus five or lower. Helicity values, eh, you know, this is bulk shear, actually. They're, they're okay, but the higher numbers are north of here. It's kind of out of phase with the instability. The better shear north, better instability south, which happens pretty often in winter. And uh, so it's, it's, it's a marginal chance of, you know, strong to severe storms, mainly on the, the northwestern part of the state. You know, we talked about that for several days, and I think that's still valid. If we have any severe weather, the better chance probably up around the Shoals, Russellville, Hamilton, you know, places like that. But we'll watch it unfold. And then Friday, the upper support is gone. The front fizzles out. And uh, we stay very mild. Uh, the GFS is printing 73. And this is suggesting maybe a lingering shower. But I think much of the day Friday will be dry. Cloudy probably, but dry. And uh, there's a peek at the uh, temperatures. Now, this is at noon on Friday coming off the NAM. Uh, it's got low 70s in South Alabama. And, of course, you know during the afternoon, the numbers would come up. So I think a good, good chance we'll see low 70s on, uh, on Friday. All right, Saturday as we start the weekend, high amplitude, big trough in the west, warm ridge over the southeast. And uh, down below that, this is suggesting we'll have uh, showers around with that stalled front on Saturday. Uh, been very mild. Those thickness values support low to mid-70s, not too far from record levels. And here's the deal now. This is Sunday. Now, this, this is problematic for flooding if this happens to verify, and it might. We've got this band of heavy rain setting up along a very slow-moving front uh, from near uh, Houston to uh, Nashville, and that includes the Tennessee Valley. Sunday night, that band doesn't move much. I mean, it stays up there in north and northwest Alabama with uh, heavy rain potential. And Monday, it just sags to the south, and we get in that heavy rain band. Uh, you can see waves of low pressure moving along that front. One, two, three are on there. And this is Tuesday, and it hasn't moved a bit. So, goodness, this, this could be a long-duration heavy rain slash flood event uh, early next week if this verifies. And we've seen different looks. Uh, you know, it's a little too early to jump on this idea at the moment. The, the idea is on the table. And, again, that's a week from today. And then Wednesday, it's still raining. Uh, but it's slowly nudging to the south as the cold air pushes in. And then finally, on Thursday of next week, the 17th, a big deep trough over the east. That pushes the front out of here, and it turns cold. Uh, the 540 line is below Birmingham, so that's our cold shot. So don't get too excited about the 70s because it won't last long. We'll be back in much colder air by the middle part of next week once that long-duration rain event gets out of here. But we'll check the end of the forecast, and look at this now. We've got ridging developing here, and that looks very mild over much of the nation. But again, we've seen other runs that show it very cold out there. So, you know, as typical, typically is the case, it's the land of voodoo. But there's something to watch, but we'll see how it plays out. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. And don't forget... You can watch us on ABC 3340 News this evening at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.